Hi guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 12 of Improving Irish Football. Now I realise after the last couple of episodes I haven't gone through the international fixtures in a very long time. So uh, I'm going to go and, well I'm going to do that right now. Um, but today, before I get started, but today we've got the uh, second leg against Pauk Salonika in the Europa League playoff round. Um, I will reveal that we have a 2-0 lead and um, yeah, we're looking in control, which is good. But as we saw from the Galatasaray game, it could all change. So, firstly, at the back end of 2015, uh, we had a couple of friendlies in the under-19 squad. Uh, Vieta and Tran uh, it scored two in three minutes for France to give them the lead um, at the time, because I think this was was in the uh, first friendly. Anton Riley got one back a couple of minutes later. But yeah, France went on to win this one. We then had a poor away performance in Prague against the Czech Republic. Halama, Bebisek and Harava with the goals. Uh, this year we've had another friendly. Uh, this was a disappointing loss at home to Qatar, Muftar and Fadalala with the goals. Um, in terms of the under 21s, we are now out of the uh, qualifiers. We beat Azerbaijan under 21 3 1, uh, Manning with two and Hollywood with one. Benka getting the goal for Azerbaijan. But unfortunately, we lost out to Germany 2 0 with Kroshner getting two, both goals. We then therefore had to draw. Uh, no, I think we had to beat your, uh, Ukraine in this tie. I think if we drew, we just about mathematically had a chance, but not really. So we basically needed to win it to have a real sort of chance. And yeah, we went down 1 0. Datsyuk with the uh, only goal of the game for Ukraine 22 minutes in. We did, however, thrash Andorra 4 0 in a friendly. Uh, Reese Grego Cox, Jack Bailey, and Mikey Drennan with the goals on that occasion. So, yeah, we've got a couple more of qualifiers to play, but it doesn't matter. We're out. So, yeah, and then, yeah, we've got a couple of friendlies after that. In terms of the main fixtures, we um, are at the. Yeah, we. I think I think I covered all of them. Yeah, we went out the Euro qualifiers. Mesut Ozil got the only game goal of the game. Yeah, I've definitely gone through them before I remember that. And yeah, now we've got the World Cup qualifiers and they're coming up pretty soon. Um, so yeah, that should be good. Um, Turkey will be a key game there. Because um, yeah, we'll pr basically be fighting them for second spot behind Portugal, I should imagine. Um, it's a decent group. I say we would be second or third favourites depending on Turkey. C do, do they have like a. No, they don't have like a who's meant to finish where. But yeah. Today we have Pax Salonika, so yeah, let's go through what's been happening in Shamrock. Um, so yeah, since you last joined us uh, in that Galatasaray game, which was unfortunate, um, yeah, we drew one all against Dundalk. We have got a couple of games in hand against St Patrick's, but we had we had three games in hand and we were one point behind them. Fortunately, we just drew with Derry, but yeah, I'll go through that in a second. But yeah, we've got two games in hand and we're level on points, so we won both those two games. We six points ahead of St Patrick's at the top of the table, which would be really good. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll be able to win those games. But yeah, we start off with a one-all draw. Um, as I said, Kelly and Kelly with the goals. Liam Kelly getting us the lead in the first minute. Jake Kelly scoring a volley in the 17th, and that's how it stayed. We then amazingly beat our title rival St Patrick's Athletic 2-0 at home. Tech Shara gave us a lead, and Greg Bolger got two yellow cards and got sent off shortly afterwards. And Liam Kelly sealed the win in the 90th minute. We then went away to Galway and won 3 0 Kelly, Mikey Drennan, and Roy O'Donovan with the goals there. And then the first leg of this Pauk Salonika tie, Mikey Drennan gave us the lead. Simos Kutrumanindidis. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just saying that straight away. Um, I didn't have time to look. It's Kutrumanidis. Kutrumanidis. Whatever it is. I, I, yeah, he got sent off. Um, and then yeah, Noel Hunt scored the second in a in the second half. Um, and yeah, the game in between these two legs. We drew 3 3 with Derry. Great game this one was. Tidham give them uh, give Derry the lead. Uh, Cameron Howison equalised for us. Giles Cope gave us the lead before Curran uh, equalised. But Noel Hunt straight from kickoff um, put us back in the lead. But then Ryan Curran got a um, yeah header in the 91st minute to get achieve a point for Derry. But we had this power game today. I've already chosen the team. It is this. It is the long awaited return of Graham Burke. And yeah, Chris Sester hasn't played in a while. Uh, I want to see O'Donovan in that centre forward role. Um, <coughs> um, and yeah, Kelly obviously has been amazing all season. Fahi and Andrews are the two Keiths. Uh, pretty much normal back four. Connor Kenner is, uh, I think he's, he's just out. He's got a low condition. So yeah, yeah, he and he comes in for him, I would say, out of the normal back four. And then obviously Barry Murphy in goal. 
normal subs bench uh, and yeah I'm gonna submit this team hopefully we can uh, hold out for the victory obviously we are now away in Greece um, but yeah it's effectively only half time I'll say that hopefully they gain confidence uh, gain focus as it looks like they do um, so yeah hopefully we can um, either hold out or perhaps even increase our advantage here although I doubt the increased bit here comes Lyndon Hahn and Sorgias who's in Sergias uh, hits the post and it's now our corner Sigas towards Ak Okonomu we win the header Graham Burke comes out to that Okonomu Linden Harbin and yes Danny Potts comes through that well he now comes forward but that's a poor pass towards uh, O'Donnell and Timmy Simons um, intercept but yeah 20 minutes almost up here but no yeah Delomas Delomas Sorgas I don't know whether that was a save or it hit the post it came back pretty quickly but yeah we've managed to keep it out somehow um, oh no, Liam Kelly's picked up an injury here. That is not good. I will bring on uh, Florent Cuvelier. Hopefully, can um, replicate Kelly's playmaking efforts. But yeah, that's disappointing. I definitely want to keep. Hopefully, it's a small injury. Uh, Saigas, Linden Hahn, Luke. Yeah, I'm not even going to try that one. Linden Hahn, Pepper. Great save, Murphy. Luke. What even is that? It's Lu Luis. <laughs> I've never seen a name, name end in J-C-K-X, I think it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can say, well done, we're still leaning on aggregate, but yeah. L Luigi, if, if you are Greek and you know how to pronounce that name, or I don't know how, I'm just going to go on him. Yeah, he's Dutch. If you're Dutch and you know how to um, pronounce that name, please write in the comments. Um, because yeah, I've got nothing. I'm usually okay with names, but yeah, that's just beyond me. <laughs> Here's Sean Heaney, go on Cuvelier, go on Roy O'Donnell, go forward. O'Donovan with the shot, Charles and Tanje, some of you remember, former uh, Liverpool reserve goalkeeper. Um, so yeah, he's come over to the Greek leagues after that. And don't know what happened there, but it's been cleared. Here's Keith Fahey over Chris Lester. He's come through Cuvelier with the shot. Straight in Tanje, didn't have any pace on it whatsoever. Madden's won that one, Cuvelier, Lester, Fahey. Finds Ray O'Donovan. Ray O'Donovan with the shot wide of the goal, but it seems like we're having most of the opportunities late on here. In Tanje with the goal kick towards Twardzi. He wins it. Loser all the To Twardzi. To Kutru Manadidis. How was he allowed to play? Didn't he get sent off last time? Timmy Simons. Twardzi. Just gonna. He is the same guy, right? Oh, I don't think I'm. I, I think it's a different guy. I think they were both regens. Um. Back to the other one. So that's Simos Kucharandidis, and this is it's the same guy. I, what? Mm. <laughs> I guess they're just using the same regens, but they're not carrying on the punishment. But anyway, Luz, not regens. What am I on about? Um, whatever they're called. Yeah, oh, I know what I mean. Anyway, uh, Chris Lester with the shot there, just going over the bar, and Tanjo with the goal kick, looking for Twardzik. He's found him this time. It's Casabas, it's Kudramandidis. And he does Casabas. Barry Murphy keeps it out. Uh, I haven't made any substitution so far. I'll keep it fresh at the back. Ivo Toore can come on for Potts. Uh, no other defenders on the bench. But yeah, I might as well bring on uh, Noel Hunt for O'Donovan. See if we can make the game safe going forward. But yeah. Here we go. Gonna say, it looks like we've got through this game. We have, it's the final whistle. We've drawn nil nil, and it means we go through 2 0 on Agora. We are in the Europa League group stage. I do not believe it. Um, yeah, hopefully, we'll get quite a bit of praise money on that as well. Six weeks and two months that is that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, definitely not gonna terminate the loan. Cuvelli is out for 12 days to two weeks as well. Um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Ah, we're given 966k, so almost a million. So, yeah, let's look at the fight. We are in the black. Wow. <laughs> because, yeah, like, we have been in the red for so long. I just, look, look, all this, all this downhill. Uh, but, yeah, now we're getting back, and we are now in the black, which is fantastic. The finances, and, yeah, we're not even projected in the red, <laughs> which is, yeah, really good. So, um... 
I'm happy with that. We have, yeah, we've achieved UEFA Europa League group stage. I'll go through to the draw because yeah, I want to see who we get. I'm trying to sign this guy Rowan Ince, but yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do it. No transfer budget, of course. So I'll just yeah, I'll just look at that again in a minute. Um, we get 4.5k. Yay! Woo. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Um, so I'm just gonna. I assume we're fourth seeds. We are, in fact, fourth. We are the lowest fourth seed. <laughs> Our UEFA coefficient is 4.4, which is pretty damn awful. But hey ho. Okay. Oh, how are Dortmund third seeds? I just I don't get that. Or is it, oh no, I think that's the first seeds. So yeah, we could get Dortmund here, but here we go. Uh, so we're not in that group. Definitely not in the group. Why are Reading in the Europa League? <laughs> Did they? They must have won like the Capital One Cup last year or something. Uh, what did they win? Did they win the FA Cup? Oh no, but they lost the final to Chelsea. So yeah, they qualify for the uh, Europa League. Wow, Reading. Never would have thought that. But anywho, back to the draw. Uh, okay, we we don't get Man United. We don't get. Just look at. Oh wait, we've been drawn. I am such an idiot. We've already been drawn. Okay, we are against CSK Moscow of Russia, Fiorentina of Italy, Saint Etienne of France, um, and yeah, obviously us. But um, that's not as bad as the group could have been. It could have been better. It could have been worse. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a hard group. I'm thinking that I'm going to avoid doing live comms of those group games, partly because most of them will involve us getting thrashed. Um, but yeah, it's just maybe. I might do one or two if we if we start to do okay, maybe against the Centre TM team, which is I think the the best. I don't know, but yeah, if hmm, I guess I'm probably gonna go to the end of the season now. Bar maybe um, I might do a live com on the last day of the season, uh, which will be past the end of the league season, but yeah, it'll still be a Europa League group game. I might do that. So yeah guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We get through to the Europa League group stage. Finances are in the black. So excited. And hopefully that will do um, our wage budget and everything. Uh, the world of good. I'm just going to yeah, I'm just gonna say finance. Can we increase the wage budget? We agree. Yes. Awesome. So what are they giving us now? They've given us a higher wage budget than we actually have what our spending wages on. Which is definitely different. Because <laughs> um, yeah, we're definitely over the odds. Yeah, I've already viewed that. Don't need that. Um, which is good. Can we perhaps do the transfers as well? Don't want to be selfish, but you know, I kind of do. Uh, yeah, they said that, uh, okay, I'll just say I understand. If they don't go for it straight away, I can always increase it. I can get up to um, 56,000. So yeah, I guess I could do any sort of small transfers. But yes, we have got through. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is where I'm going to end. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time after the end of the season. We would have played a couple of World Cup qualifiers as well at that point. So yeah, it should be good. Um, yeah, I've been the FM Gaffer, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.